I'm the little Action. sheep that's missing its skin. <laughs> Good morning. I'm all wrapped up, but it's gone from like minus a million to kind of warm. I'm really hot. I'm off to Bali. So this morning I was reading a whole bunch of your comments um, on the vlog from yesterday from the Valentine's Day Eric workshop. It was just so amazing. So amazing to feel your witnessing of it and feeling of it and it just felt so powerful being there and then sharing it through the vlog and it's just like my dream come true to feel this and to be able to share it and inspire more people. Just reading your comments, Kaylee, and you were writing, um, she wrote in the comments that she was watching with her nine-year-old son and husband and they were both participating and tapping with balls and just able to access it which is so crazy because when Eric teaches particularly the advanced workshops it is so advanced and often it can be a very specialized kind of personal group of people who are able to access it and I just feel like now particularly with the vlogs and superhuman fitness and all of this it's like the next level of more people being able to tap into this power and utilize it and use it and watch the miracles happen and also Annie just wanted to read your comment she said love this vlog seeing each of you so soft and beaming and loving feeling the love from all the me's gone before doing Franklin method training with Eric a bunch of years ago <clears throat> and tasting the magic of those first experiences and coming to your Franklin classes in New York Laura back in 2010 Oh, shed a tear for all this, all the capacity to feel more love. Yes. And Irene Fink, just amazing, beyond words, just a huge, huge, huge thank you to it, to you all. Has been like ice melting in the sun. Our community is the freaking best ever. Because it's, and there is more, there's lots more. Kylie and Fiona and Anna and Kate, and Christina and all of you, just, for showing up and feeling this even through I say even through but like it's losing it's even like through the vlog through watching and tuning in and feeling this every single day it's the most amazing thing ever it really is my dream alive and here's the train because it wouldn't be much fun alone doing this together we really are okay was spinning it was the coolest thing ever and like glutes like glute max mid min all like dancing with each other and lots of webs and lots of like moments of remember my web video I made whenever it was Halloween yeah a bunch of years yeah. ago and it was like oh feeling that connection to now new experience of fashion and totally. anyway, I'm gonna I could keep going I'm gonna give just the camera hey, yeah I'm just having like infinite new experiences like so much like I said to Laura like I can just so see how it's like my whole body is one big web but it doesn't stop at the end of my fingertips or like at the end of my like physicality it's like I can just feel the like I yes there's the web within me and like I'm part of the infinite web which 
which is so cool. So it's like as I dance, like it's kind of like how Eric was talking about, like everything is a joint. It's like imagining like organs like interacting with fascia is a joint, you know, and it's not just what we perceive. And then I was imagining like I feel like I'm a joint to the universe of like as I dance, like I'm kind of slippery sliding with the like space time around me and each person and then I was sharing with Laura that it's so cool because I can just so feel a whole next level of like feeling your like star is when you can really be in you and experience like I am complete but I am like webbed into this bigger web and each person is and it's like we're all webbed into the same web and so it's like we're all the same thing and yet we're all totally unique and we can all shine in our role of like being us dancing within the bigger web and it's like we can only be that and feel that like I am a star when we can acknowledge that like we're a part of a bigger thing which is so cool and then it's like really we're all connected and then it's so cool because it's like even just in doing like plies at the end of class or like jumps like I could just feel almost like I was like a million teeny like gushy marbles or a million teeny water balloons or like just really like like just really taking the imagery that Eric shared during the workshop of like feeling that like at every movement you make is hydrating like and juicing up like every part and I was just so feeling the like every single part every muscle every bone every fascia and it's so cool because it's like there's so much I don't know like there's still so much I don't know and yet even just imagining one simple thing my entire body feels different and my heart feels amazing and like dancing felt so incredible because I really felt I'm like I'm dancing through like space you know and it's just really amazing it's really amazing it's like we're all just one big trampoline I was just imagining because it's like fascia kind of is like a trampoline like the way that we jump into a trampoline and doing that like muscles are that to fascia and really everything and I was just kind of imagining that like every cell trampolining and joy and like the fun of the life dance Yay! this is my dream come true uh, and I love Laura so much <laughs> I really do every part yeah thank you for seeing it it's incredible Fun. And just imagining, like, again, like, it was so cool going across the floor. I was like, okay, can I imagine sparklers coming out of my fingers and how the Snapchat imagery has now given me all this new imagery because it's like, if I can imagine on Snapchat, like, I smile and all of a sudden the hat shows up, it's like, I can in real life imagine sparklers coming out of my fingers and it was, like, almost overwhelming, but it was so fun. I was like, this is just one big game. I'm like, I choose what I want to see, you know? You do know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's incredible and also just like all those spiritual images that exist out there of like the body amidst the like spinning vortices but like just that image that's in so many spiritual teachings and practices I just so felt that today of like it's like I am that body but instead of it just being the body and then seeing the web around it it's like I am the web and the body amidst the like energy it's like we, I'm like an electromagnetic field too because I definitely felt like can feel some processing stuff and like my belly's a little gurgly and I kind of feel almost a little like sick but it like feels good and it just I kept hearing Eric the whole class from the weekend of like keep breathing keep breathing keep breathing like breathing will make everything like will make dancing easier life easier like all of the above and I just kept hearing that and feeling that and just, okay diaphragm like next moment and like keep dancing keep moving keep hydrating my cells by like movement yeah. Yay! Thanks, Franklin. Yeah. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for arriving in my reality. Thank you for the I've been dreaming of this. I said that to the vlog earlier when I read the comments. Of like, the, oh, I mean, I say it all the time, but like, this is my dream. Totally. It's my dream. dream. It's the dream in the I put a makeup for calls, but I didn't for the UHP call because we didn't have time. Emily and I had a really deep, sweet 
moment which I'm hoping she'll tell you about and share her experiences as she's ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just people going through, um, just as UHP is going to its next expression and like it really is, it really is a co-creation. The like intensity of that, the profoundity and the amazingness and yet the total like intensity of it each is each person and themselves and their journey with themselves and just that commitment to the process and that's it and they're like that's it like that's all there is to do but allows it to stay in that sweet expansive incredible space that doesn't get caught in mind stories and the like you know the corruption just happens in the mental you know space when our fears and our challenges and all of our human stuff comes up and just the commitment to just be in the journey and be in the process and allow it to come up and be present and be witnessed and be with your breath and mm -hmm. allow it to move through and like it's all okay whatever comes up and it just feels really massive right now for everyone and all of us and all of it and yeah and now I'm going to eat some food and, and look what came <gasps> in the mail. Oh, that's so exciting. Look how pretty that is. It's a beautiful. Laura has an article that in is so exciting. this magazine. Wow, it's beautiful. It's what a really cute pretty. Little... Oh, that's, oh, cool that's amazing. They, they feature Instagram posts like as the artwork in the magazine. That's so cool. Brianna Borton. Yay. Yay! Massive congratulations to you. It is. No, it's more than, it's more like a cat. Hi! It's a cat. So, I mean, look at that. Really small. No, um. it's a cat, it's not a sheep. <laughs> I mean, you have, it's like, this is the skin. This so, is we are in my office. Like We've had quite a day. Yeah, yeah, quite a day. Anything to tell us, love? No. On the okay. We've had quite a day. Matt, Any updates like for the vlog? Updates for the vlog. Yeah. Just learning about. I mean, these plants are all collagen as well. I mean, it's like collagen. All kinds of things. And lamb <laughs> skin. Lamb collagen. So apparently, <laughs> this is actually skin. Yeah. From a lamb. Oh, so soft. Poor lamb. <laughs> it's walking around all shivering now. Someone <laughs> took my skin. <laughs> 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 It's probably dead too, walking on a cloud. Someone took on my skin. Cloud. And now I'm on a cloud. Where's my skin? I think it's down there. 127 prospects. I'm going to take revenge. What? I don't know. I was in my phone. Oh, you don't know what I'm doing. I'm the little Everything. sheep that's missing its skin. <laughs> <laughs> it really is black humor at night, isn't it? Exactly. You might have nightmares <laughs> of sheep. It is, isn't it? I'm good. They might come, yeah. Suddenly, a, there's going to be a knock on the door, <laughs> and then you're going to see this big sheep. <laughs> oh my God. Your friend, uh, Katrine, and. Oh, yeah? So she, they did tell us this hilarious story uh -huh. that we were at dinner uh -huh. that night. About your skin sheep? No, it has oh. to do with peacocks. Put a knock on the door, reminded me. <laughs> they went to there's this park in Miami where there's a bunch of peacocks, and uh -huh. she decided she wanted one. A peacock? A peacock. And so they were all, she was with some people on her side, and they were like, Should we take, like, take a peacock? Out of it? Should we just take it? So they, like, all no. made this baby peacock no. and put it in the back of her bed. <laughs> what? And then take it to Horrifying. her house. And so then they leave the peacock out, they put it out, and it runs out of the car, and then kind of disappears. They forgot it could fly, so it flew over the fence, and then next thing they <laughs> it's forgot it could fly. <laughs> you, know, like, you, you don't think, you just think of the tail feathers, not yeah, that exactly. really, they're like, okay, oh, yeah. cool, whatever. <laughs> so next thing they know, their neighbor, who's apparently this like crazy cat lady, <laughs> oh, God. comes out of her house wearing a peacock dress, No. and she's like, she calls her and she's like, the peacock 
and there's a, no, 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 she says, you'll never guess what's on my roof. <laughs> she goes, there's a peacock on my roof. And Katrina was just like, whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so the peacock just was, I thought, I thought you were gonna say that she killed the peacock. So no, the no. story's not even over yet. Okay. The peacock flies onto her roof because it's scared of all the cats getting it. And so it, she's just like walking around the house, like yelling at it, trying to get it off. And then if you, it disappears, something happens, I can't remember. But then a day later, Katrine says she heard a knock on the door. And she goes and opens the door and the peacock's standing there. And it's like knocked with a beak on her door. And she like stood there. And she said it just stood there for like three hours. <laughs> This was like a day or two after, and she thought it had like disappeared. And this peacock like walked straight up Literally to the door and like knocked on the door, and she opened it. And, <laughs> and then did she keep it? So then what happened? And she was just like, okay, I think she just shut the door and like. But and then she wanted the peacock. She, yeah, but I think at that point she figured it was too much trouble. Oh she gosh, she didn't take it back. No, they're kind of terrible people. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That's that really yeah, that so terrible. No, don't go stealing funny. peacocks. Like, just knock on the door and just be like, but don't steal <laughs> peacocks from especially baby peacocks. No, toys. that's oh, awful. Like, Say good night, Rainbow Bright. Oh, good night, Brownie. Brownie. Night night. Do you know what a brownie is, Vlog? Mm -hmm. No. Brownies are apparently they're dudes who have my little pony fetishes. Oh gosh. <laughs> <Brownie>. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. Night night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I didn't film that much today, but lots happened. It was, a big so, day. It was a really big day. Yeah. Yeah, and then lots of rains. I don't know if the rain was filmed. Oh, it was really nice. Yeah. So nice. To be continued. Mm. Tomorrow. I love my clients. Bye. Bye.